The toughest part of pet ownership is saying goodbye, especially if a veterinarian recommends euthanasia. It's a very difficult decision to make, and we are here as a sounding board for owners to be able to bounce their questions off of. The MSPCA offers ways for pet owners to make final arrangements, ranging from cremation to cemetery burials. We all form very close relationships with our clients and our patients. We're very invested in that conversation, both for the people and for the pets. For some, the grief of losing a pet can be overwhelming, says Khalil Sakakini, an ordained animal chaplain and minister. There is a profound connection between animals and humans. There is a love that gets passed back and forth. Some people think of animals as their angels of their better selves, that when we have an animal, it does bring out the best in us. It makes us more patient, more loving, more sociable, more kind, more giving. It makes us laugh more. And then we fear that when the animal goes, we're going to lose all those good qualities and traits. So that connection enriches us as it enriches the animal, and it's just a beautiful cycle. So when death comes, when that relationship is severed, then we're in the dark, and we have to find a way to get back, and the pain is real. Sakakini runs support and discussion groups online and at a local church. He reminds those seeking his guidance that there is no shame in grieving the loss of an animal. Don't be afraid of the pain. Don't expect things to go back to normal, as in, when is this going to end? Begin to accept in doses the reality of the death of your animal companion. Take it step by step, day by day, no rush, move toward the pain, it's not your enemy. Don't wonder when it's going to be over. It will uncoil in its own time. In the meantime, you, its edges will soften and you'll move forward. Part of moving forward, remembering the bond between pet and human. Sakakini says it should be celebrated even after death. We as human beings are designed for love. And dogs and cats and bunnies are all designed for love too. And when that too comes together, that relationship is, is just like sacred. And Sakakini's services are free, which is nice. Finally tonight, make sure you check out the latest episode of Chronicle, the podcast, in our continuing series, How Do You Get a Job on TV? Yeah, I sat down with our own Maria Stefanos to learn about her journey to the new Center 5 anchor desk. Download it from your favorite podcast provider. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here tomorrow night.